This is a quick reminder on how to graph vertical and horizontal lines. This graph right here demonstrates a vertical and a horizontal line. So here is my horizontal line, here is my vertical line. This is what a quick reminder too of what equations look like for vertical and horizontal lines. Y equals negative 3 is a horizontal line. X equals negative 2 is a vertical line. So I'll walk you through two examples of how to graph an equation that is a vertical or a horizontal line. Here is our first example, x equals 5. My favorite way to graph um, this line is by using an xy table. I think most students get the graph correct if they use an xy table. So in my equation, it says x is 5. Um, there's nothing else, there's no other substitution. I know that x is 5. So I'm going to go ahead and put 5 here three times in my x column. Now, again, it doesn't matter what y is because there is no y in this equation. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in negative 2, 0, and 2 in for y. Technically, you could use any value for y that you wanted. I picked those three values because I have a small graph over here, and I don't want my values to be bigger than my graph. All right, I'm going to go ahead and plot these points. So 5, negative 2. So as a reminder, my first ordered pair goes left or right, and my first number in the ordered pair goes up or down. So 5, negative 2, I go over 5 and down 2. There's my point. 5, 0, I go over 5, and I stay there. And 5, 2 means I go over 5 or right 5 and up 2. Now at this point, you're going to grab your straight edge, and you're going to connect these three points with an arrow. Keep in mind that I don't have an arrow, or I don't have a uh, ruler tool on my iPad here. That's the best that I can do there, but you're going to need to use a straight edge. Then I'm going to go ahead and label my line, x equals 5. So just as a quick reminder, anytime you have an equation with a single variable of x, and there's only one constant, you're going to have a vertical line. One other way that I remember, or sometimes students remember that this is a vertical line, is because this line goes through the x-axis. So it goes through the x-axis at 5. All my x values are 5, so it has to be a vertical line. So pick a method that works for you that's reliable. All right, here's our next equation, y equals negative 4. Again, I want to point out there's only one variable, and there's only one constant. y is my variable, and negative 4 is my constant. So again, my favorite way to graph equations that look like this um, is using a table. So I'm going to go ahead and set up my xy table. And I always start with the value that I know. So I know that y is negative 4. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put in three negative fours here into my y column. All right, now just like in the last example, the other variable that I don't know anything about, x, because there's no x in my equation, I can just go ahead and substitute in negative 2, 0, and 2. All right, now I'm ready to graph. So I'm going to go and I'm going to go to the left negative 2. I'm going to go to the left 2, so I'm going to go over 2. And then I'm going to go down negative 4. So negative 2, negative 4 is about there. 0, negative 4 means I just go down 4. And 2, negative 4 means I go right 2 and down 4. All right, as I stated in my other example, you're going to grab your ruler right now, and you're going to draw or connect these points with a straight line. All right, label your line, y equals negative 4. So you can see that when I only have one variable, y, and one constant, I'm going to have a horizontal line. So this line is horizontal because it goes through the y-axis at negative 4. All right, as I stated in the last example, pick a method that's going to work best for you. The table method seems to be the most reliable for most students. Um, if you can graph a vertical and horizontal line um, consistently and accurately without using a table and just going with the, the method that you remember that 
um, if the only variable is y, it's going to be horizontal. And if the only variable in the equation is x, it's vertical. That's fine, but just make sure you're reliable and you're um, successful at it.